In this video, we will review how to use a spectrophotometer. To begin, turn the spectrophotometer on by flipping the switch located in the back. You will now wait for 15 minutes to allow the spectrophotometer to warm up. After allowing the machine to warm up for 15 minutes, hit no for system calibration. We will now insert the blank cuvette filled with water into position one of the holder. Begin by lifting the lid. The light shines from left to right, so be sure to enter the cuvette with the light passing through the clear plastic, or in this case, the side with the arrow. We'll now begin to insert the sample cuvettes into position 2, 3, and 4. This is counting away from you in the machine. Make sure all of the arrows are lining up in the direction the light will be passing through the machine. Next, close the lid to the chamber. You will now blank the machine. Now select basic mode by hitting enter. Next, press the go to wavelength button. By using the keypad, enter the desired wavelength. In this example, we will change the wavelength to 410. Now hit enter. At this point, the machine will blank with the water cuvette in position one. The absorbance should read zero if you, if you blanked the machine correctly. Now we are ready to begin taking the absorbances of our samples. Pull the knob to bring cuvette two into the light beam. The knob is located under the lid of the chamber. Pull it gently until you hear a click. This means cuvette two is in position. At this point, the absorbance should have changed. Write down the absorbance in your lab notes. In order to continue taking the absorbances of your next samples, pull the knob again to put cuvette number three into position. As your sample concentrations increase, your absorbance readings should also increase. Finally, pull the knob one more time to read cuvette number four. At this point, you've read all of the cuvettes in the machine. In order to remove the cuvettes, open the lid slowly. Grab all of your cuvettes and empty them into the liquid waste. At this point, you should wash the cuvettes out with DI water and invert them to dry.